Howdy everybody, my name is Silver Fatigue and welcome back to Poppy Playtime. Um, we're just starting off where we left off last time, so cue the gameplay! Ah! Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. I'll go. I'll go. You know other ways to play with me. That was actually really fun though. Why did I go back and look? What if something was chasing? <laughs> Music man! Play care rejects production. Huh. This is a new area. Rejected. Rejected item. O in the oven. Multiple cases of children receiving third degree burns. Perfect. I kind of took it off the rail a little bit. Interesting. I really like the the power stuff. It's really fun. Oh, I don't I hate how the sound just Oh my god, stop it. That's fucking scary. Okay, come on. Come on. What do we got here? Y yep, I'm just gonna open the room that has blood by it and has a door. Oh, hey. I'm back. Oh, I can't go through because of the spider webs. 100%. to be this smart. <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. 
Let's see what he's got for us. Interesting. Okay. Welcome to Wacka Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. You gotta admit, this would be pretty cool to play. But knowing the in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. God. Oh my god. I barely survived that. You did it. Why do you sound so unhappy? Mommy is so proud of you. No, you're fucking not. You're such a wonder. You're such a liar, mommy. I know you're not actually proud of me. Only one game left to play. Sad. Mommy was hoping you'd stay here forever. Though, it's never too late to change your mind. <laughs> she really wants me to die, dude. That was fun, though. That was entertaining. Okay. This is fun so far. I'm really enjoying this. Oh, no, no can do, no up there. I gotta go up here, right? Oh, I see. Am I just supposed to like... No, a little higher than...
Hmm. This is making sure I'm not missing any collectibles. More! More candy! Okay, no more candy. My tummy's full. Nom nom nom. I said no more! Nom nom nom. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Nom nom nom. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really bad. I just... No! So dramatic. I totally missed something. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Please don't eat me. Huh. How come she was nice to us but the other person wasn't? Oh, she's just gone. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, 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 okay. I see. I see, I see, I see. I'll say no green hand. Heart quarter. March 21st, 19. Is that Jack? You're kidding me. That's Jack. Oh my gosh, it's Paul, sir. Marcus? What happened? You see. I was heading home for the day, when my A-bars realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So, I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mob handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what'd you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke of beyond me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mob handle jolts on its own. And me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So, I, I took a peek beneath the gate, 
and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thank you. You're sure it wasn't a person? It's no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I have a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will ya? Actually, never mind. Get out of my sight. <laughs> That's so cool! I didn't know Jack was in this. Interesting. Okay. Grab pack storage. Oh, I've been here already. One of two of them are missing. And then those are the two that you found. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you're circling back. I forgot what we were doing, gotta be honest. Statues. Okay, let's see. What's next? Jeez, have you played these before? You're so good! Seems like you're ready for the final game, Statues! Follow Mommy down the stairs one last time. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. See you next time! So, it looks like Mommy Leg Long Legs was the one who used to be mainly for the kids beforehand. Oh. Okay, how come none of these, like, these were fine. How come this one? And why are these, like, giant metal doors? What are you trying to keep inside? Aside from us, because I don't, like... We just talked about a giant monster that had a whole bunch of legs. Which I'm assuming is this. Because we've been seeing him for a hot minute. Jack most likely got fired because of it. Uh. Interesting. It's a weird addition. Hungry to learn.
All clear? What did I open? Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. It was always so sad to see the kids go. They called me mommy because I was the closest thing they ever had to one. But they come for games and never come back. They left mommy to die alone. Mommy didn't deserve that. But you, you worked here. So if anyone deserves to die alone, God, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. That's cheating. You're going through the wall. Oh my god. Am I supposed to jump? I think I was supposed to jump. I don't think I was supposed to crawl across it. This isn't about you. Get up. Okay. So are we assuming that maybe those weren't other employees, but maybe those were kids? Kids that were led here. Oh my god, okay, so yeah, you can't do those. Okay, that's good to know that. Get up. I don't know what that said.
Water treatment. Green VHS. Hmm. I, man, I've missed so many VHS tapes.
okay. After. Transfer a quest. Experiment one, two, two, two. One, two, two, two. Yeah. Mommy Longlegs. Subject Marie Payne. Mommy Longlegs has the unique ability to stretch any of her limbs for several hundred feet. This includes her fingers, arms, hair, neck, waist, and legs. She's very hostile towards the staff, but is very motherly and acts warmly towards the other experiments. She is protective of them. Problem. The hostility is quickly becoming problematic, but perhaps there is a solution to put her in her place. Proposal. Mom Mommy Longlegs would be perfect for facilitating everything with the children in the game station. She has the warmth that a mother should, and any rowdy child can listen to can learn to listen to their mother. It makes sense that her seeing these children daily would improve her behavior, and it is very unlikely that she will act out in front of the children. Have her transferred to high security maintenance immediately. Conditioning can begin. Moving on. I see. So now, damn, I don't have a tape for you. Got him. See? Easy. Oh, 
Oh, this isn't where I came from earlier. Okay. Wait, are those like... It's a big light. Looks like hospital beds. Monitors. Huh. Quick save. let me go up. It didn't matter. I was like pressing on it, but it still wouldn't let me go up. Oh no. Okay, so... Thank you. 
Oh my god! I forgot what I was supposed to get up to. <sighs> Man, I'm getting so annoyed from this. Okay. My right clicker got stuck again. Dude, I have to get a new mouse. This is annoying. It's like I'm incapable of playing. No, I. It got stuck. <laughs> oh my god! It's like a brand new mouse too. I don't understand why it does that. This game's glitchy. God, it's even worse if you do it. Until it runs out. Interesting. Okay. I think I was doing it wrong.
Okay, well then I don't get it. Like, I obviously have to go through... Oh, maybe I'm doing it in a non... The prototype has saved us. Isn't he wonderful? I don't see a tape. I accidentally progressed. Oh, oh. I asked you to play fair, and you cheated! Great cheaters! Now, no, is this a chase sequence? One last game! It's called Hide and Seek! Slow me through. This is the right way, I'm not sure. I don't know if it can pick up on your audio. I don't know if this is like an actual. Get it. Oh, they too. Okay, so one red, two blue.
Oh wow, I did good. Awesome. We don't need to talk about that. We don't need to talk about that at all. <laughs> I was like getting really frustrated with that. <laughs> Mommy says be careful around fire. I like how these are webbed off. Innovation is key. Maybe I'll go the other way. Maybe we forget death. So irritated, I actually had to bust out the chips. I do have a blue hand. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel like she's gonna show up somewhere. This is how she showed up last time. Are you? Crazy. That was extremely convenient that that was there. Bay 9.
Oh, it's like hard to get like a handle on your surroundings. Keep this premise tidy. Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door despite the other specialists still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. That's not the Huggy Wuggy we know. The Huggy Wuggy we know was extremely violent. What is making these experiments go haywire? What is making them aggressive? What is making them homicidal? Oh, we're above the, the, the play care thing. Looking at me like that. Form a request form. Dr. Matthew Wayson, nature request Windows and Game Station. I don't know if you ever spent weeks on end in a windowless, artificially lit room, but let me tell you something. It's far from pleasant. The kids are getting rowdy too. You can just see it on their faces. I know there's not really a way to get natural light down here, but there's other ways, right? I'm thinking about lake windows all around. Do that and bam, there's some natural life down here. I saw it on TV last night. This underground place had fake windows. Something lights behind glass. Oh man, sorry. It makes the whole place feel sunlit. It's nice. You want everyone in the right headspace for these games, don't you? Do the right thing at Windows. So those are fake windows. That's fake light. That's interesting. That's a little tidbit you never know. We're so deep underground. And Poppy does not seem happy with us. Always stick with a bud. Look at the tree. 
screen. Oh, sorry. Why am I apologizing to you? You guys are like on the other side of a screen somewhere. Okay. Okay, so the colors red, yellow, red, blue. Press buttons on cranes on train console in this exact order. Red, yellow. Red, yellow, red, blue. So. Killed mommy long legs. Kissy Missy is friendly. We don't know what's going on with Huggy Wuggy. He's violent. Um, same with the bunny guy. Interesting. So we so we have more information. Sean Jacksepticeye McLaughlin. That was really cool. They 
Jack was in that though. I've been watching, like I said earlier, like I've been watching him since I was a kid, so it's cool to see him in games now. Because like, I know he was in Bendy. So I saw the clip of that, but I had no idea he was in Poppy Playtime. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay, anyways. Um, okay. So. From what I'm gathering, it's like. We, an ex-employee, was invited out to save the people that didn't disappear. But I think it's a lot more violent than that. I, I don't think it's... I think it's more targeted than that. I don't think it was just like, oh, we're going to invite a random. Like, there's got to be a reason. Even Mommy said, like, Mommy was like, I don't deserve to die alone, but you worked here. You do deserve to die alone. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and a comment and subscribe down below. Sorry if this episode was a little quieter than usual. I was really focused. I was really having a hard time with those puzzles. A lot harder of a time than I would like to admit, I'm going to be honest. So thank you guys all for tuning in and watching. And I will talk to you all later. This is Silver Fatigue, logging out. Logging out.